Hi, I'm Robbie Blackhall Miles and I work for the charity Plant Life. The charity's goal is to secure a world rich in wild plants and fungi. I'm the project delivery officer for a project called the Nataram Beth Tulisai Maniferari project. Nataram Beth is Wales's largest species conservation program and we're working in partnership with Natural Resources Wales and nine conservation organisations to make sure that some of Wales's rarest species are looked after and their fortunes are changed for the future. Tulisa Munitheruri is one of our place-based projects. It aims to change the fortunes of 10 Arctic alpine plant species and two Arctic alpine invertebrates. Rosy saxifrage is one of those Arctic alpine plant species. What's an Arctic alpine? Well, they are organisms that are linked to either the Arctic or the alpine environment. And here in Britain, we have a whole host of them that were left behind between eight and 12,000 years ago when the glaciers retreated after the last ice age. Rosy saxifrage was last seen in the wild in Wales in 1962. A little piece of it was found on the edge of a path in Comidwal National Nature Reserve by a man called Dick Roberts. Little did he know that that would be the last time that Saxifraga rosacea would be seen in the wild in Wales. Luckily, that little bit of plant was grown on. It was realised that it was Saxifraga rosacea and botanists at Liverpool University also started propagating it and realised just how rare this plant was. By that time, unfortunately, Saxifraga rosacea was extinct in the wild in Wales. No one could find it anywhere. Inappropriate grazing is likely to affect this species, but also during the Victorian era, people would come to places like Comidwall National Nature Reserve to collect plants, to put in their home herbariums, that's pressed plant specimens, to show off to their friends the range of rare species that they've got in their collections. This over-collection meant that a lot of Wales' rarest Arctic alpine plants became even rarer because there was a trade in them. It meant that species like this and some of the very, very rare ferns that we have here in Aruri became critically rare. And now, through the Nataram Beth Tulisai Munith Aruri project, we're going to be working to change the fortunes for some of these species. One by one, we're going to be correcting the issues of the past. And that starts with the reintroduction of rosy saxifrage to the wild.